On March 9th, 2023, the IRS sent agents to the home of Twitter Files journalist Matt Taibbi during his testimony in front of the House Select Committee on Weaponization of the Federal Government. IRS agents don't generally just show up at taxpayer homes, making the situation even more bizarre. The agents left a note telling Mr. Taibbi to call them. If this was an issue that could be handled with a phone call, there would seem to be no reason to send the agents in person. The presumption has to be that this was an attempt to intimidate a witness unless it can be proven otherwise. I mean, this is the type of tactics you see in Soviet or communist China. Are you willing to state that there is an appearance of impropriety when an executive branch agent shows up at the home of a witness testifying before Congress, literally at the time while he's testifying before a committee? Congressman, Section 6103 prohibits me from responding to specific questions to an incident involving a taxpayer. Okay, well, do you, did, did you approve of the visit to Mr. Taibbi's home? Again, same, same who answer. Would, who would approve that? What would be the approval process? Again, I would be breaking the law if I asked a question specific to a specific incident of a taxpayer. Okay, well, let me ask you this way. Is there any incidences with any taxpayer that you would have to approve the involvement of, either an agent going to their house or approval of an investigation? As a general rule, the IRS commissioner is not involved. In so who would be as a general rule? As a general rule, we have uh, IRS personnel that work to ensure that individuals are complying with the tax code. So for example, if they don't file, we will send a letter. Uh, if they owe a debt, we will reach out with a letter. There are, I think it's important to understand in a very broad sense, without commenting on any specific taxpayer, the IRS reaches out in multiple ways to educate taxpayers while ensuring it fairly enforces our taxes. Well, well obviously there's gotta be some type of approval process for investigations, right? So like, whether it's Mr. Taibbi or whoever, what is that process within the IRS, and are there instances, depending on the profile of the taxpayer, that you would be involved, and if you would not be involved, who is the approval process for opening an investigation, going to an individual's home? How does that work? Okay, again, making sure that I'm careful. I'm, not I'm speaking to come completely in. generally here. Yeah. Well, I think I, I would like the opportunity to get back to you on the, on the specifics. So you can't, as you sit here right now, tell me how the approval process works for opening an investigation on a taxpayer, going to their home, an agent showing up at their home, any of that. You can't give me any specifics on that. I will offer, as a general matter, one important clarifying point to your questions, which is any home visit that occurs is typically uh, after the taxpayer has been contacted uh, through a letter or some less invasive method, and we were not able to contact the taxpayer in that way. As a very general matter, I can share that with you. But in terms of your question of the, the, the complete process of an investigation being opened at the IRS to closure, I'm not prepared to provide you uh, an answer with full fidelity because I'm still learning the process and I will get back to you. Okay, um, so you, you said generally that if somebody's showing up to somebody's house, it's obviously been elevated. So would that be a criminal investigation? I did not say it was elevated. I said that we would- You said you would have opened an investigation, right? No, I did not say that. I said that we would typically try to reach a taxpayer through a letter uh, before we would do uh, any kind of additional outreach. And if, if we failed to hear back from that taxpayer, then, uh, going to someone's home is a possibility. So would that be a criminal investigator within the department that would go there or a non-criminal investigator? As a general matter, it would yes. often be a non-criminal investigator. The oversight, the House Oversight Committee has discovered numerous LLCs affiliated with Hunter Biden where it appears he was laundering money through the LLCs and paying for basic living expenses out of the LLCs. Now, I know you can't speak to specific taxpayers, so I'm not going to ask you that question. But if the House Oversight Committee has evidence of a crime that was committed or what appears to be tax fraud or tax evasion, who would they get those documents to within your department? Is that something that we should get directly to you? No, again, the IRS commissioner would not be involved. When there is an, and again, not specific to any specific taxpayer, but when there is an allegation of any kind, particular from a, a, a whistleblower or anything like that. Or evidence deduced from a, 
oversight committee in Congress? Exactly, exactly. So who, my who, role who is would it be within Inspector your General. department that would handle that investigation? Inspector General. In, within IRS? Yes. What is well, it? he doesn't, he, it's the tax inspector general, uh, for ta it's the inspector general for tax administration, Russell George. And anytime I, I learn of, of an allegation, a credible allegation, that something isn't right, I immediately refer it to the inspector general to do the investigation. And as I said, then I stand back, let the inspector general do their work, and my one ask of the inspector general is, let me know how I can help, and I wait to hear back from him. So just to, I'm just trying to wrap this around so I fully understand. Yes. So you, as the commissioner, are not involved in making any of those decisions. So it, it, regardless of who it is, again, I'm not asking a, a taxpayer, at no point in time do you get involved in making investigative decisions, Correct. enforcement decisions, Correct. and, that, and your, your testimony here today is that's the IG and only the IG. For when, when there's an allegation of wrongdoing amongst uh, an IRS employee or an allegation that, some, that, that requires additional investigation, but, but you know, I think we're, we might be talking past each other. If there is... Yeah, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about okay. internally. I'm talking about yeah. a taxpayer. We need, to, we need to wrap it up. Okay. I think we should take this offline, but, uh, but again, I will go back to the, the, the important point. The IRS commissioner does not generally engage in decisions about individual taxpayers. If there is an allegation that something is not right with respect to IRS operations, the inspector general investigates it. If it just involves a taxpayer and they're being investigated for tax evasion, that decision is made not at the commissioner level, but at the, uh, at the bureau level within the IRS. I yield back. My time's expired.